servant. So in other words, he said, if you sin, that means you're a servant of what? Savior. Thus being a servant of who? Yeah. See what I mean? Can't, you, can't, you can't serve two masters. For when you were the servant of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye now are ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now what? Being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end of holiness is what? Everlasting life. For what? It wanted here. For the ways of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Come on, put your hand together. Give God some praise here tonight. That's true holiness now. Now, that's true holiness teaching now. You, you, that's true holiness teaching right there. Now, I don't know what they I don't know a lot of stuff they people saying, but that's holiness teaching, what I just taught you tonight. Amen. All right. Homework. You need to read the seventh chapter of Romans. Seventh chapter of Romans. Paul is giving us an illustration of how miserable uh, uh, the life is of a person who is locked in in the flesh. It's a miserable existence. He also gives his personal testimony. This was before this was before, before Paul, he was Saul, before he got sanctified. He was religious, but he wasn't sanctified. All right? So it's an illustration. I'm going to say it's an illustration and a testimony. Start from chapters. Uh, you can read the entire chapter, but our particular emphasis when we come back to class is going to be from the 14th to the 25th verses, which is the description of this utter defeat and frustration. That, that accompanies a fleshly, a fleshly existence. All right? Verses 14 through 25, chapter 7. Chapter 7, verses 14, 14 through 25. Okay? And then, 14 through 25. And then in the 8th chapter, in the 8th chapter, read, read chapter 6, 7, and 8, right? 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 8. 7 is an illustration and a testimony. 8 is going to talk about the... The victorious, y'all have me say the victorious, spirit-filled life. All right? And, and Paul would have covered the doctrine of salvation. Okay? The only thing that's left that he's going to talk about now is the salvation of the Jews. See what I'm saying? Eight chapter, entire eight chapter. Because now we're going to talk about the second aspect of sanctification, which is baptism of the Holy Spirit. Y'all tell me, y'all help me say the victorious Spirit filled life. That's the that's the eight chapter of Romans. Okay? Paul gonna close out the doctrinal section in, in chapters nine, ten, and eleven, talking about the salvation of the Jewish people. That's what they're primarily concerned with. And then we're gonna move to the what? Conclusion. No, no, we're gonna move to the practical teaching. I'm sorry. Chapter twelve. All right? So we we got, we got about maybe three or four classes left. Amen. God bless you, beloved. God bless you, beloved. Now, I want everybody uh, to consecrate at least $2, $3 in the offering. Will you do that? Amen. In support of this teaching ministry, uh, uh, we're going to say a word of prayer, and, uh, and then we're going to ask everybody to share. Uh, let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Dear God of heaven, we do thank you tonight for this word. God, let your word be effective in our hearts and in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, even as we prepare to give, we pray that you would speak to the hearts and minds of your people. And God, we do give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of a spirit-filled individual. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about, we talking about the spirit-filled life now. The whole Romans, Romans the 8th chapter. All right? It's talking about the second aspect of sanctification. What's the first aspect of sanctification? Personal. Y'all have me say personal. That's when you sanctify yourself. Am I right? I mean, you sanctify yourself through the word. You're clean. You take the word and you wash yourself. If the word say put away lying, you put it away. You understand what I'm saying? Personal sanctification. But now, the eighth chapter is talking about the Holy Ghost now. That is the second aspect of sanctification. Uh, Brother D, if you can just go down the line and then uh, come and get three dollars from me. No, you get five dollars from me from that. Amen. Oh, okay. Can I have it? Amen. So if you have any questions, if you have any questions about anything that we covered tonight, you can certainly 
raise your hand, and for a few moments we can entertain those questions. Walk kind of slow, brother. Do you walk kind of fast, brother? <laughs> I guess he's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> you coming back, Angel D? Uh, okay, he's coming around. He's coming around. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody have any questions or anything that we talked about tonight? Everything, everything must have been pretty clear, huh? Hey Amen. Well, thank God. Thank God. So, so I might give another test. Day. <laughs> Uh, very good, uh, missionary Robinson. Did you did you do you have the attendance list for? All right, very good, very good. Make sure that you sign the attendance list. We will be giving out certificates of completion for those of you who have attended uh, most of the classes. All right, Sister Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, if we know we talk about the Holy Spirit, who, whose job is to what? It, it, it's, to, it's to convince the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. All right? But there's, there's also something else working in man that he's born with. What's that? The sinful nature. So while the Holy Spirit is trying to draw an individual to God, what is the sinful nature doing? Aggravated by who? So the flesh. Wars, in other words, lust is against wars against the spirit. Talk about the Holy Spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Yeah, the sinful nature. We see the, the Bible said uh, the the carnal mind is an enemy. We, we, we got something in us that fights God. I'm talking about before we get saved.